What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now today guys we're going to be taking a look at some of the best 5 assault rifles here in Warzone Season 3. Now these are some of the best weapons you can use right now. They're not in order from best to worst. Worst to best. These are just some of the 5 best assault rifles you can use in the game right now. So if you guys are new make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you guys don't miss any more daily Warzone content. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video and let's get into it. So going for the number one weapon, which I will say this is the best weapon in Warzone right now, which is the STG. Literally for the last two weeks, this weapon has been getting non-stop buffs and it just makes it super broken to use. Now going into this build, the muzzle will be the MX silencer for sound suppression, horizontal, vertical recoil control, and damage at range. But it's really good. Your bullets are going to be really strong. You have a lot more recoil control, so your weapon's going to be really easy to control. And plus you do have some sound suppression, so it will help you stay quiet, stay stealthy, so you are staying alive a lot longer here. Now for the barrel, we're going to be running the VDD 760mm 05B. This can help the weapon be highly accurate and controllable the damage at range goes up the reduced scope sway and gun bob and plus we get some bullet velocity so our weapon's easy to control and very accurate which is really nice the bullets are really strong at a longer range and plus we get some more bullet velocity which will help our bullet shot faster and air to hit our targets faster which will help the stg be even more broken here now for the optic there's a few things that you can run but it's totally up to you from this one i have the g16 2.5 but if you don't want to run that one you can go down to the bottom add on the svtu uh, 40 pu scope or you have the m38 slate 2.5 custom it's totally up to you but for this build i'm gonna add on the classic g16 2.5 for that accuracy and recoil control and plus we do get a zoom in of 2.5 which makes this weapon really easy to control and very helpful to use now for the stock we're gonna be using the weighted stock for accuracy flinch resistance recoil control and aiming stability so we're more stable when aiming down sights we have a lot more recoil control our accuracy goes up on this weapon and plus that flinch resistance will help us a lot be a lot more stronger here when getting into those gun fights so when aiming down sights when you get shot at you're not going to flinch as much which you know if you don't flinch as much when you're getting shot at a lot of the times if you do flinch you're going to get off the target and you're not going to be able to get them and so having flinch resistance is really important for the stg here now for the perk we're going to be adding on focus for perk one for that flinch resistance so we're going to be a lot we're going to be even stronger now when getting shot at and then for perk two we have fully loaded on so we start out with more ammunition when we grab our loadout which is always good now for the rear grip we're gonna be adding on the polymer grip for flinch resistance so we're even stronger now and plus we do get some more accuracy and recoil control in terms of staying fire so accuracy and recoil control shouldn't be a problem for you guys now since we have a lot of accuracy and recoil control for our weapon here now for the magazine we're actually gonna be running the 30 russian short 45 round mag this can help with bullet velocity and range bullet penetration and damage this will make the weapon have a faster time to kill in a sense due to the bullets being stronger so add this on the ammunition type will be the LinkedIn ammo type for that bull velocity. So with the barrel, with the magazine, and now this, you're going to have a super high bull velocity for the STG, making the weapon's bullets travel faster in air really quick to hit its targets. And then finally, guys, we're going to be adding on the Mark VI skeletal, skeletal grip for that aim down sight speed so we could be a little bit more aggressive when aiming down sights. But this class is really good. Give it a try. Let's go ahead and get into our next build. So for our next weapon guys we have the cold war ak-47 now this weapon is really good and i know we got a little nerf but it's still really good to use so for this build the muzzle will be the groove suppressor for sound suppression vertical recoil control bull velocity and effective damage at range so we have a lot more recoil control for our weapon which is really nice our bull velocity will help our bullets travel faster in air and plus that effective damage at range will help our bullets be even stronger now so it's really helpful to have this on for those medium to long range gunfights. so add this on now for the barrel, we're going to be adding on the Liberator barrel for that bull velocity and vertical recoil control. Now, if you want to, you can run the Spetnaz RPK barrel for that more of effective damage at range and that horizontal and vertical recoil control, but I'm not trying to lose out on too much mobility. As you guys see, we lose sprinting move speed, aim down sight speed, aim walking movement speed, and hip fire accuracy. I don't want to lose too much things, so the Liberator will be adding this on for just that extra bull velocity and vertical recoil control, which the range output does kind of looks the same so it's gonna be okay here now for the optic we're gonna be adding on the actual arms three times this is the best thing that you can run for assault rifles if you are gonna run one but if you're trying to have an ak-47 that is up kind of close and personal where you could be more aggressive with it you want to add on the microflex led just for those short range gun fights but if you're trying to go for those medium to long range gun fights definitely add on the axle arms three times and that's what i mostly use 
the assault rifles for so add this on now for the magazine we are going to be adding on the bakley 60 round mag for that large magazine size you're going to have easy squad wipes here without having to reload. Trust me, having this on is going to be a lightsaber, so have this on. And then finally, guys, the Spetnaz grip will be our final attachment for horizontal and vertical recoil control. For that extra, you know, just comfort, you're just going to have more accuracy, easier weapons control, so have this on. So the XM4 will be our next weapon on the list here. Now, the XM4 is still really dominant, and if the STD did not, if the STD did not get buffed, this would still be one of the most used assault rifles in the game. It's still really used a lot here. I, I mean, I pick it up once or twice every single game I play. So it's still really popular. But for this class setup, what I'm going to be running is the agency suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage at range here. It's really good to use on the XM4. You're not losing on too much mobility here. Or the cons are not too crazy here. So we're adding this on. Now for the barrel, we're going to be adding on the reinforced heavy barrel. This is going to help with bullet velocity recoil control vertical recoil control and effect damage at range now why i'm using this over the task force barrel i don't want to lose that on too much mobility here and the cons are hitting harder on the weapon so it's hurting it more so the reinforced heavy barrel is like the task force barrel but it's not taking as much of a penalty to the weapon here so it's really good to use now for the optic i'm adding on the axle arms three times this is a weapon i'm gonna tell you guys you need to add on the axle arms three times you want to use this for medium to long range gun fights but then again, if you want to make this in a really aggressive like SMG XM4, add on the Microflex LED. It's still really good up close. So either way, how you want to use this, the axle arms or the Microflex LED, choose what you want. But the axle arms will be going on my build. Now for the magazine, we are adding on the 45 round mag for a larger magazine size. Now you can run the 60 if you want, but with the 45 and 60, if you hit your shots right, you are going to still get squad wipes without reloading. So it's really up to you how you want to do it here, but I'm adding this on. And then finally, guys, I have the serpent wrap going on for that fast aim down sight speed. I think it's really critical to have the fast aim down sight speed. But then again, we are losing out on a little bit of sprint to fire speed, which is okay still. Your fast aim down sight speed still works, and it helps out a lot, so add this on. All right, so guys, for our next weapon, we have the Automaton. Now, basically what happened with this weapon in the last recent update is they buffed the damage on this weapon, so it's up more, which makes the Automaton still good. But since the STG got so many buffs here in the last two weeks, the STG is still way better than the Automaton now. But we should see after the like the you know the Godzilla bundle and stuff and what's gonna be happening here soon with the like you know the Godzilla King Kong event. You should see some nerfs for the STG after this event dies down. But anyways, guys, for this class setup, the muzzle will be the MX silencer again for that sound suppression, vertical and horizontal recoil control, and damage at range here. So add on the MX silencer. Now for the barrel, there is two that you can run. You can run the six uh, 600 millimeter BFA or you can run the anesthesia barrel. It's really up to you, but the Zac 600 millimeter is going on my class setup to make the weapon highly accurate and controllable. And plus we do get some reduced scope sway and gun bob for the automaton, so I'm adding this on. For the optic, I'm gonna be adding on the SVT-40PU scope. I like using this a lot. I feel real comfortable with it on the automaton. I don't know why, I just like it. It helps with accuracy and you get a zoom in of three times and six times, which is awesome. The stock will be the Zack Skeletal stock for the aim walking movement speed, aim walking steadiness, and initial firing recoil control. The perks are going to be tight grip for accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. And then for perk 2, we're going to have fully loaded on. So we grab our loadout, we're going to have fully maximized ammo for our loadout when we grab our loadout. The rear grip is going to be the fabric grip here for the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. It's going to help us be more aggressive here, shooting faster off a sprint, and of course, aim it down sights quicker. For the magazine, we're going to be adding on the 75 round mag for that large magazine size. Basically now you have an LMG as an assault rifle, fires really quick, the mobility is still good. You know, the reload speed is eh, but it's still good, so we're adding this on. The ammunition type is going to be the length and ammo type for that bull velocity. And then finally guys, we're going to be adding on the M1941 hand stop grip for recoil control and accuracy. Just to help the automaton be a pure laser beam, you're not going to be missing any shots, you should not have any excuses to which makes this weapon really broken. All right, so for our final weapon, guys, we have the CR-56 AMAX. Now, this weapon has went up in the leaderboards a lot due to a lot of the assault rifles above it has gotten nerfed, like the EM-2 and a couple other assault rifles from Cold War, I believe. 
Now for this assault rifle, you are going to start seeing this a lot more now. I do guarantee that. But for this class setup, so you can go ahead and jump on this weapon a lot faster. The muzzle will be the monolithic suppressor for sound suppression and damage at range. You're going to be more quiet. Your bullets are stronger at a longer distance, which is really good. Now for the barrel, we have the S440 barrel, the Zodiac barrel. This is going to help with damage at range bolt velocity and recoil control so your weapon is easier to control here the bolt velocity is going to be even faster now here with our bullet travel faster in air and plus that damage at range your bullets are going to be even stronger now which is really helpful the optic is going to be the my uh, the vlk three times optic really good to use this is the most common optic to use on a modern warfare weapon so i'm adding this on the magazine is going to be the 45 round mag just for a larger magazine size get easy squad wipes without reloading just plus having a larger magazine size it's always good to have on and then finally guys we have the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability so our recoil control is really good now and plus when aiming down sights we are more stable which is also helpful but guys here's the class setup and i do also want to start adding to my top five videos honorable mentions to use so if you guys like that let me know in the comment section but let's go ahead and get quickly into them all right, so for our first honorable mention in today's video, we have the Ram 7, which the Ram 7 is really good. Now, I wouldn't say it's above the top five weapons that I showed in today's video. The weapon is really good. The accuracy is what makes this Ram 7 really important. The damage at range is good. The fire rate's okay, but this weapon is really good. I like using it. So here's the class up on screen. I have the monolithic suppressor, the ranger barrel, the holographic sight, the commando foregrip, and the 50 round mag. Let me know what you guys think about it, and let's go ahead and get into our next one here. Now the Varga 52 is going to be our next honorable mention here in our assault rifles. Now this weapon is really good still. Now I wouldn't put it above like the STG, the automaton and stuff. It's really good. It still hits a lot. But the damage at range is probably the best thing about this weapon. But other than that, the accuracy, the recoil control is not all there. But here is a class up you guys can try out. And if you do believe that the Vargo 52 is still like a top tier meta here in Warzone, kind of let me know in the comments here and, you know, kind of talk to me what you guys think about it. But this is the Vargo. So let's go ahead and get into our final honorable mention here. Now for our final weapon guys here in our honorable mentions we have the QBZ. This thing is really good. Now I've been using this a lot and a lot of other Warzone streamers and YouTubers have been using this as well. So for this class setup we have the Agency Suppressor, the Ranger Barrel, the Axle Arms 3 times, the Field Agent Grip, and the 45 round mag. Now I will say this weapon is okay. I won't say it's good. It is okay. The damage at range does hit it at a certain point. But if you're up close, the fire rate is really good. The accuracy is really good as well. And I think the best thing that keeps this weapon just up there is the fire rate on this weapon. It has a fast fire rate, which just makes it really good to use. And plus, there's so many builds you can use as this. You can like take off the field agent grip and the axle arms, add on the Raider stock, and add on the Microflex LED. And you basically kind of have like an SMG going on now. It's really nice to use. Very versatile, I'll say the most. Up close and personal, medium to long range. You could just make so many builds with it. I like it, but this, guys, is the final honorable mention. If you like these honorable mentions here in the, today's video, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.